I'm Alicia Starner. I'm a senior at the North Platte High School. And my poem is called Doubt. Doubt is standing at the edge of a cliff with wind rippling through the hem of your dress, the waves crashing below, wondering if you should jump. Uncertain of what lies beneath the water's sparkling surface, uncertain if the rugged edges of rocks are waiting, hungry for the impact of your unsuspecting body. Doubt is staring out your bedroom window at the rundown mess of a neighborhood you call home. A trailer park with one trash can that's always overflowing, spilling out decayed food, paper, and plastic. Not only is the ground covered in plastic, but so is every window on the trailer I call home. An effort to keep out the bitter cold, but it finds its way in through every crack until it seeps into your toes and exposed skin, turning your shades of violet and blue. You shiver and shake like an addict on detox from the summer sun. Doubt is the feeling that consumes you as you wonder if you're ever going to leave this place, if you're ever going to reach your dreams, or if you're going to be a cashier until you retire. Doubt is what causes your panic attack at 3 a.m. when you're lying in bed, willing yourself to sleep, but when you try to silence your mind, the only words you can think and breathe are, I can't! Your lungs desperate for, your lungs desperate for air, your heart racing like an antelope when it spots a lion, but the only predator is your mind, and when the panic subsides, every ounce of strength you had vanishes. And suddenly, the idea of spending the rest of your life lying in bed, wrapped in a quilt, Sounds more appealing, appealing than attending college. Doubt is the friend that holds you back with words like, you can, just play it safe. If you listen to Doubt whispering, she'll never like you. She's too busy to spend time with you. You might never meet one of the most kind and influential souls you've ever encountered. If you listen to Doubt telling you not to travel, you might not have the most flavorful and decadent meals of your life in New York. You might never learn about and see so much history in DC, you might never see the beauty of urban street art in Chicago. If you listen to Doubt, you might never let loose at a concert, never feel the joy of fearless dancing. But Doubt can also save you. The barriers it puts up aren't always ba bad. It's a voice that deserves attention. Doubt reveals flaws. If you never doubt if your words and actions are just, you'll walk through life blindly believing the first thing you were taught. If you never doubt that a trip will go smoothly, you might not be prepared for a flat tire 700 miles away from home. Without doubt, you might move to a city you hate and waste 2,000 on a semester of college that you didn't want to begin with. Doubt is a double-edged sword. It protects you, but it can cut you. Fear it, but no one to use it. 